Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at these coffee group head brushes. The coffee group head, this thing. Basically, if you want to really excel at coffee, you need to keep the group head clean for various reasons. One of them being as a seal builds up the coffee grounds from the excess sometimes sitting over the basket. The grit on it eventually creates a leak and it creates water to leak outside the porter filter and that's not great. A quick simple solution is to use a coffee group head brush to clean that seal, not only cleaning it but prolonging its coffee life. Now, they're simple to do, really simple, but it's something that often gets forgotten. And I feel that the easier it is to do, the more someone does it. So we're looking at four different brushes here and it kind of represent the different styles, being the basic, something a bit longer, the portafilter looking ones, and basically the deluxe or king of the brushes. We'll just have a look at how they are to use. And I've always thought the easier they are to use, the more it gets done. And it's just something that's so simple, it really should be done just on a daily or even at least on a weekly. So with a basic brush, one thing to look out for is brushes that have ribs along here so that the hot water doesn't run down your hand. You'll notice if it does, you'll feel it. When you activate the group head, what you want to be doing is putting the brush inside that chamber and rolling it around. Now, it's always going to have a little bit of water run down, but it's normally not much and you don't always have to do it with the group head running. You can do it just without it running if you're a bit more concerned. The main thing is to clean that seal. Now obviously this is a new machine so it's already clean, but you guys get the drift. Another version is to use something like the Palo coffee tool. Now these tools are cool, they're a bit longer so you don't get water run down your hand. The heads are replaceable so you don't actually have to replace the whole tool like these. You're only replacing the bit that gets used and it does have an inbuilt coffee scoop on the rear. But back to what it's made for, cleaning the group head. If we activate the group head again and run it around, you'll see that this time a lot less water comes down and it's a lot easier to use. Once again, it can also be done without the group head activated if you're worried about the water. And that's the Palo tool. Now this is where things get interesting when we move along to the next two. Cafelet have made a tool which effectively is a brush that looks like a porter filter and you bring it in and you scrub it like you would scrub anything else. Once you're locked in, you just scrub it left and right and it's cleaning that group head. Once again, you can run water while you're doing this, but it's just a lot simpler than the other two. And finally, we're looking at the Espazola. Now they've taken a whole lot different approach and they've created effectively a porter filter with a silicon base. Now this silicon, once it gets pushed in, it bends around and it not only cleans the group head seal, but the whole chamber and the center actually cleans the shower screen. So this is giving the seal, the chamber and the shower screen a clean. And effectively with this one, you lock it in like you would a porter filter. Once it's locked in, you activate it. and then you just give it a simple left and right. Now, this one is awesome in that not only is it cleaning the seal, the shower screen, but it's just super convenient. And if you want to, you can put a bit of back flushing powder or a tablet in it and sort of back flush your group head. It doesn't replace actually back flushing, but it's just something that can be simply done through the day and cleaned out. Now, doing this is say in a cafe that's busy, between service or between rushes really keeps the group head clean and the coffee performing the best way possible without having to actually pause, back flush, clean, etc. It just keeps a lot simpler. And from a home perspective, it's actually what I have at home because it's easy. You have it in the drawer, you lock it in, give it a quick left and right and you're done. I kind of like things that are easy. I kind of sound biased to this, but that's just because it's easier. 
they all actually perform the same function, which is cleaning the group head seal. One thing to mention is on the Espazola, the silicon is replaceable. With the Espazola as well, when you get it, you have to put it together. And depending on the lug configuration, you can actually run it for different machines. Let's say A61, Lama Zorko style head, or something like an Astoria, which have the off-centered lugs. Either way, they pretty much will fit your machine if it's a 58 mil porter filter machine. They've also got little pins here that can be used to clean your steam tips, depending on your tip size. And if you do have a shower screen with a hex nut, it does have a hex configuration here that allows you to turn and change that nut. In this machine, the shower screen doesn't have a hex or a screw, so in this case, it's redundant. And lastly, with the water, it does come in here and channel out through the spout here, kind of like a porter filter, so the water is never gonna run towards your hand. And finally, it does have a scoop. If you wanted to scoop some coffee detergent to backflush into your blind filter, you could use that for that too. Thank you for watching our video on coffee group head brushes. If you've liked this content, hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe. Thank you.